Hello, welcome to Remote Backup Systems How-To Series for R Backup version 11, building your first client installer using the RBS Manager. For this tutorial, we'll assume that you already have the RBS server installed and tested. If you don't, stop this and go back and get it installed and tested. We're going to build our first client installer. This is the bare minimum that needs to be done to get your first installer out to operate on one of your end users. This is the RBS manager. Pick tools and then customize client installer. The customize client installer utility is used to change the text, to change the graphics, to customize and brand your client installer. We're not going to go through the entire customization and branding process right now. We'll just do the bare minimum required to get your first client installer operational. The first screen that you come to is the screen that lets the client software know how to reach the server. The most important part of this is the RBS server's IP address, domain name, or DNS name. We suggest against using an IP address here because IP addresses change. This is the IP address or DNS name that will be burned into the client installer and it's the address at which the client will try to find the server we suggest you use a DNS name like server2.domain.com. Uh, you can also use the server locator if you want. You can check mark, check mark right here to use the server locator. The default port number is 2774. This is the port number that you set when you installed your server. Backup sets. Select, uh, set a default backup set just one and uh, you can set that for incremental and have it run uh, weekly every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday nights at 12 15 p.m. 15 minutes after midnight. You can select anything uh, any schedule that you want. This is just the default schedule. It's the schedule that the client will first bring up. You can change it once it's installed but if you want to distribute client software that requires very little installation support from you, then set this up exactly the way you want it to work. Purge and retention settings. Set your purge and retention settings the way you want them to be set. The default is to keep latest version of all files online, purge files older than 90 days. Compression level is set to medium, File selection criteria is archive bit. You might want to switch that to modified date and time. You can also turn off purge files older than a number of days and set the number of versions to keep online. This is becoming more popular as time goes on to, use, uh, to set this to a, a number of versions to keep. This is where you change text. That's not necessary right now. Client locks is not necessary. It's not necessary to change the display. Uh, it isn't necessary to change the backup settings unless you want to switch the encryption method. Uh, and you may want to do that. I'll switch this up to AES-256. On the advanced tab, there's really nothing you have to install. You have to change here either. Now, so once you've finished this, click the apply button. Answer yes. and pick build client installer. Let's build a self-extracting EXE installer. Let's give the uh, executable the name demo. Let's select a destination folder. I'll put it here so it shows up right over here. For the icon file, let's select the default for now. You can select a, a, your own icon later and then click Make EXE. The software will build three executable installers, one for each of the different editions of the client software. There's a personal edition, a desktop edition, and a server edition. Once those are built successfully, the software will tell you so and you can click OK and close. You're done. 
Now take uh, one of these three out to your end user, uh, post it on your website if you want for download, and the end user will install that, and the executable has been burned with the server's contact information, and uh, it will light up and, and work. That's it. Thanks for, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, you can contact us at www.remote-backup.com or give us a call at 901-405-1234.